Uh, it appears that this could have been soap induced or a uh, pickle attack. I have a uh, empty uh, one gallon can of Coleman fuel uh, laying on the cafeteria floor as well as a uh, backpack here. Police say a student was injured when he set himself on fire this morning at Stanley Lake High School in Westminster. Police say he was trying to take his own life. Nine News reporter Toronto Thomas is live outside of Stanley Lake. Toronto, this boy is 16 years old. Do you know how he's doing? We do know. We know that he's in critical condition in the hospital right now. One source has said that he had burns over 80% of his body. Now, police are keeping an eye on that, but they've also been going in and out of this school, which is empty. No students in it, but they've been looking just to make sure that there is nothing else in this school that they need to know of. They wanted to make sure that this was an isolated incident, and so far, that appears to be the case. Westminster police said they haven't found anything else in the school that would lead them to be suspicious. We mentioned school is closed. It will be closed tomorrow as well as students have had to leave this school because of the fire. Here's what happened. Between 7 and 7.30 this morning, police say that 16-year-old boy came into the school cafeteria and lit himself on fire. They're not saying exactly how he did that, but sources say that he doused himself with some sort of oil before lighting himself on fire. Now, after that happened, we do know that two staff members did come to this boy's aid. A woman smashed the glass and got out a fire extinguisher. She hurt her hand when she did that. And then a male custodian sprayed that fire extinguisher to get the flames off of that student. And that is when firefighters and police and paramedics arrived to take that young man to the hospital. Students were inside and they witnessed this. There were several students inside the cafeteria. Here is a soundbite from the father of one of those students. So I received several panic calls from my daughter earlier this morning. Um, uh, she's a junior here at Stanley Lake High School. And she, uh, she witnessed a really terrible incident. Um, She's currently being interviewed by uh, by investigators to see what happened. She's not doing well. She's it's very traumatic. <laughs> I mean, how could you possibly do well in a situation like that? And that is exactly what Jefferson County school officials are thinking. That's why they will bring counselors to this school. They'll be here tomorrow. Even though there won't be class, students will be allowed to come in to get their belongings, to talk with someone if they need to. And I have to tell you, I've been hearing from students from the very beginning who are tweeting and sending messages saying that they did think that this was a suicide attempt. Police now confirming that this was a suicide attempt. And now we're finding more pieces to this puzzle, a letter that this 16 year old left behind before he lit himself on fire. For more on that, let's talk to 9 News crime and justice reporter Anastasia Bolton. Toronto, thank you. Students are telling 9 News the teenager who tried to take his life today left a suicide note on social media. Police could eventually be looking at that note. In that note, the teen says, quote, this is not someone's fault. I had this planned for years, end quote. The student went on to talk about his plans and how friends over the weekend try to talk him out of it. He closed his note with, quote, if anyone says that they know why I did this, nobody knows and nobody will, end quote. We do know the name of the student at this time, but we are choosing not to release it, letting the police department inform friends, relatives, and the school community who that student is. And at some point today, we will, we will be releasing his name and hopefully hearing more from students and um, at some point maybe even his family. But we understand this is an incredibly traumatic and difficult time for everyone in the Stanley Lake community. Definitely is. All right, Anastasia and, and Toronto both, thank you.